Welcome everyone to today's webinar. Uh, I'm really excited to be here with you and really excited to dig into the evolution of omnichannel e-commerce and specifically how to optimize your eBay channel for your Shopify store. Um, before we get going, I should probably introduce myself. My name's Andrew Cohen. I'm a strategic partner manager at Shopify, um, based locally in, in Sydney, Australia. Um, looking forward to introducing you to my co-presenters here today um, from the eBay team. So, I might get Sanjana. Do you want to introduce yourself and um, let everyone know um, your role at, at eBay? Hi, everyone. Um, thanks to Shopify for the opportunity to present to um, Shopify merchants today. And um, my role at eBay is um, channel partnerships and merchant integrations. And today, specifically, I'd love to talk a little bit about tips and best practices that will help scale your eBay business. And hi everyone, Jeremy Naiman here. I look after seller experience and operations at eBay. As Sanjana said, we're really excited to, uh, to join you today and, and take you through uh, you know, a whole bunch of information around the e-commerce market, uh, eBay itself, and provide some information around eBay that you may or may not know. And uh, then through to, as Sanjana mentioned, tips and tricks and best practice to get the best out of your uh, Shopify store on eBay. Brilliant. Thanks, Jamie. Thanks, Sanjana. Um, look, I think we're all aware that we're in the midst of a truly unique time. Um, it's a monumental time in history, really, but specifically for e-commerce, I think we're seeing some exceptional growth and potentially at the time we're all going to look back on in, in years to come when it was that moment when e-commerce really came into its own here in Australia. It's probably going to be that time we're going to look back and say that was when e-commerce truly became a significant part of the local retail landscape. For years, it's been hovering around that 10% mark, and I think this might be the moment when it really breaks out and becomes a significant player. I think if we look back, though, over the last couple of months, what some of the learnings have been out of the COVID period that we've obviously been experiencing, and we, one of the key things for me is the importance of diversification. The ability to ensure that you don't rely on your sales being from one particular channel. And when I say one channel, I mean that specifically that you don't rely purely on your own online store. You don't potentially rely on just one online marketplace. And certainly I think we've learned you don't wanna rely on just selling through a physical retail store. I think you need to ensure that you execute on a multi-channel strategy and you ensure that you exist wherever your customers are looking to buy. And with that in mind, I think eBay has really proven to be a, a highly reliable channel where consumers, as I say, are ready to make that purchase. They're ready to acquire the goods that they want. And they have been able to build an elevated trust in, the, of, in eBay who's built this up through their brand over many years. And they've done this because they've been successful at scaling merchants in the local market. So I'm really excited to get into this presentation. I think it's time to hand it over to, to the eBay team. But for me, I think what I'm keen to get out of this session is really understand how do you engage an omni-channel strategy? I think why now is the right time to be investing in, in retail channels? And then definitely getting some tips and tricks on how to best optimize that eBay channel on your Shopify store. So I hope Jeremy and Sanjana can do that for us. I've no doubt they can. And I'll hand it over to them to, to take it from here. Great. Thanks, Andrew. So I think, you know, just to elaborate a little bit further uh, on what Andrew's talking about in terms of the current landscape and, and what we're seeing at eBay, you know, we've, we've seen this real monument, monumental shift, particularly over the last few months. And I think, you know, we, it'd be remiss of me not to, to sort of touch on some of the, the challenging um, experiences that many of our retailers in Australia have faced over the last say 12, 18 months, even, even longer than that. When we think about, uh, you know, Australia going through the drought, having huge bushfire crisis, floods, and of course COVID-19, there's been a lot thrown at, you know, retailers uh, and, and, and merchants here in Australia and it's made for a very challenging environment. And I think, as Andrew mentioned, it's, it's, uh, it's a time for contemplating diversification and expanding those sales channels to help, you know, tap into the consumers uh, where they're shopping. Um, and so with that, what we're seeing and, and 
you know, what we've seen over, I guess, the last few months has been a huge acceleration in growth. You know, looking at 2019, the e-commerce revenue was around 29, you know, 29 to 29 and a half billion dollars of, of total retail spend, which represented about 11% share of total retail. You know, year on year growth was around 21% of online purchasing. But over the last three or four months, you know, COVID-19 in particular has really accelerated that, that, that shift to online. And having a look at some of these numbers, you know, it's, it, it's quite extraordinary to see uh, the position that we're in, particularly within the Australian e-commerce landscape. Now, a lot of growth to online was already happening, uh, you know, particularly through the periods that we saw with, uh, you know, the, the bushfire crisis of last year and, and the drought and a lot of people um, supporting the regional communities. And, and we're, you know, we were seeing those regional businesses move online. But as we can see here, 80% year on year growth in online purchasing from March to May alone just shows the shift in consumer behavior. And the week following Easter this year, 135% year on year growth in terms of online purchasing, the largest in history. So we're, you know, we're, we're in this, uh, we're in this cycle uh, of, of significant change. And, you know, this is where we think it's a real opportunity for those merchants out there that, that may have a Shopify store to extend further into other channels, you know, including eBay. You know, the COVID-19 crisis is one that we, we really just can't, um, you know, avoid talking about. It's, it's definitely real and it's happening. And we've definitely seen that acceleration to online. This graph is a really great representation of that, where we can see that it's changed the way that Aussies live and the way they, they purchase. And we feel at eBay that this is permanent. So, you know, over the, over the last sort of 12 to 18 months, there was around 15 roughly 15% year on year growth each month for, for purchases online. You know, we've seen that rapidly escalate up to 35, if not 40% as we head through March and April of this year. So we're seeing that real, real spike in uh, consumers buying online. And they're buying from domestic sellers. And so in March, particularly in March, and, and we suspect that through April and May, there's been a, a real big uptick in those, uh, in those people um, moving online, buying from local sellers. So really, what does that mean for you? If we look at the market and the landscape and what we're seeing in terms of the change, online retail spend is accelerating. We can see that. The purchasing behavior, we feel, has changed permanently. So as we went through that period of, you know, physical stores closing down and the, and the shift to online, we feel that that behavior has changed permanently uh, where more and more people will be buying online. And, you know, we experienced that at eBay over the last couple of months, talking to real retailers that had to shut their, uh, their physical retail stores. And, you know, we were able to help them come online and continue to trade, uh, which, you know, we feel more and more, uh, you know, sellers will continue to do. Consumers are spending more with Australian businesses. And so we feel, you know, for, for the audience out there that the time is right to, to start or continue your online retail journey uh, and leverage the support that both Shopify and eBay can provide to continue to, to uh, grow your business and continue to trade, particularly as we con continue to see online retail uh, spend grow in, uh, in Australia. So that's the market landscape. If we move our focus towards eBay, this is a really great quote from Pierre Emilia, who's our founder. And he said, what makes eBay successful, the real value and the real power at eBay is the community. And it's the buyers and sellers coming together to form a marketplace. And so when we, when we dig into eBay a little bit more, I mean, many of you have heard of eBay. You may have traded on eBay before or looking to trade on eBay before. And that's because we've been around the Australian e-commerce landscape for 20 years. Traditionally, when we first started, it was more of that consumer to consumer auction marketplace. But over the years, we've moved more and more towards brand new products um, and, and, and big retailers on the platform. You know, we often, uh, we often say that we're like the Westfield of online, I guess a department store, you know, a huge, huge department store where we're connecting, you know, millions of buyers with tens of thousands of sellers. So those buyers can find the goods that they want uh, from those, those sellers. 
And a really interesting uh, statistic that we saw through Australia Post's e-commerce report in 2018 was that 49% of Australians are actually starting their product search on a marketplace like, in, like eBay. So that's phenomenal when you think about the, the penetration that Google has in terms of search. When people are actually looking for products, they're coming to a marketplace to start their search, which is, which is phenomenal. So another reason why we think this is a really great time for people to extend, you know, to extend their online business to other sales channels to further increase their businesses. So marketplace, uh, eBay is a marketplace for buyers and sellers. We don't actually hold our own stock or sell our own products. We provide that experience where buyers and sellers can come together. We've got a feedback system between buyers and sellers, which also helps provide protection for them. And I guess we're somewhat of a pioneer of the feedback system when you think about Airbnb and Uber now using these type of systems as well. You know, this creates just a fair marketplace and a fair sort of transactional experience for both buyers and sellers. So you know as a seller on the platform that you're going to be protected. And with that, we've also got a seller rating system which rewards the great selling standards. So you, know, you as a great seller, um, you know, adhering to all the great retail practices that an online business should adhere to to be successful in this marketplace, you get rewarded for that, which is also fantastic news. So we're the number one most visited retail site in Australia and the number 10 most visited website in Australia overall. So huge amounts of traffic. And this is evident through the numbers here. So 11 million unique monthly visits coming to the platform every month. As mentioned, 93% of the products sold on eBay are brand new. The best thing about eBay is it's a global business. And so you can tap into those active buyers globally. And there's 174 million of of these buyers that have purchased something in the last 12 months. So huge reach, which also allows you to, you know, you could set up a business here locally in Australia, but also tap into a global audience and, and further increase your reach and, and sales. And we're mobile first, 70% of all our traffic comes from mobile. We really uh, spend a lot of time ensuring that the mobile experience, both MWeb and app is really geared to buyers and making sure that we drive maximum conversion and sales for the merchants on the platform. So we've got 40,000 businesses on Australia, um, or on eBay Australia already. And some of those are the top brands that you may already know and have heard of. You know, the good guys, Officeworks, Sony, Samsung, for example. But it's not just the large brands and retailers that we have on the platform. You know, we've got Anyone from entrepreneur, small to medium businesses, all the way through to your mid-market and enterprise, there's, there's a space for everyone on the platform. And that's due to the fact that we've got, you know, 11 million people coming every month to look for products on eBay. But we are continuing to evolve. And what, what we've seen is your buyers in particular are looking for choice and we're looking for ways that we can continue to help sellers grow their businesses. So a few ways we're doing that are through our, our loyalty program called eBay plus, which gives uh, buyers who join that loyalty program fast and free delivery and returns on millions of items across the platform. But for sellers that also have that eBay plus badging, um, there is the potential for their sales to increase 16%. We've seen uh, sellers that are, that have got the eBay plus badge, you know, seeing that growth in sales and conversion rate by, by having the, uh, the retail standards that eBay Plus deliver. Afterpay has also recently launched on the platform. This gives buyers more choice in how they purchase, uh, particularly through buy now, pay later option. And this is free for sellers. We don't charge sellers for that particular service on the platform. Some of you may, may have seen as well that we partnered with House Rules and really that's it's a great way for us to show Aussie shoppers that they can find everything they need for their home on eBay. And launching later this year, we've got eBay Managed Payments, which is a new, pay a new payments uh, service that allows us to provide more payment options for buyers, uh, allowing you know, higher conversion rates on, uh, on sellers' products by allowing you know, more payment op options such as Google Pay and Apple Pay. It's simplified fees for you, know, you as a seller as well, uh, and it just helps streamline your operations. So why eBay? So we've spoken about the market environment. We know that online is accelerating. More and more uh, 
uh, more and more buyers are buying from Australian consumers. And it's a great time now to expand uh, into other sales channels. You know, why eBay? We connect you with 11 monthly, uh, 11 million monthly uh, users on the platform looking for products each and every day to purchase. You know, we've got an easy and free plugin that you can leverage to connect your Shopify store easily into eBay and tap into that audience, tap into that global audience and leverage all of the work that eBay do to drive traffic to your store. Um, and of course, that's at no cost to yourself. And then by following the listing optimization guidelines and the tools that Sanjana is going to show you, we can help further grow your business on the platform. So with that, I'm going to hand over to Sanjana and Sanjana is going to take you through all of the different ways you can replicate your store on eBay, uh, all the tools and tips and tricks to get the best out of your business and grow your business on eBay. Over to you, Sanjana. Thank you, Jeremy. Um, it was really great to hear about um, how eBay can help our sellers at this time. Um, and so moving on to the topic of replicating your Shopify store on eBay, um, it's super simple. Um, and I'll walk you through the simple four steps that allows you to do this. Um, so just on the next slide, we are able to see the four steps. Um, so it's very easy for you to uh, set up your eBay account first. If you don't have an eBay store, that would be the first step. And then within the Shopify app store, you are able to access the eBay Shopify plugin, also called as the Shopify eBay sales channel. Um, this is, like Jeremy said, it's free to install and free to use, and it integrates uh, within your Shopify control panel. So it's really simple um, to access. Once the eBay account has been linked to your Shopify store, um, all of the information that you currently have for your website or your web store syncs through to your eBay store. So it makes it really simple when you add a new product or you update price or inventory um, or quantity, uh, all of this information directly comes through to eBay. So once you've set this up, you are able to customize within the sales channel. So you're, you are able to select the products you'd like to list. Um, you can make other customizations before that product comes through to eBay. Now, um, just as a quick note, if you're a brand new seller, uh, we will be sending some information after this webinar, or, uh, which, hel which helps you with the next steps. If you do have an existing eBay store already, where you're listing manually um, or listing through other apps, um, we'd recommend reaching out to the support team before uh, making any changes because there are a couple of additional steps. But other than that, it's a pretty easy setup and very easy to use. So next we look at some of the tips and tricks on for how to optimize your eBay store and maximize sales. Um, a big portion of this is obviously creating the perfect listing um, and giving, up buyer, giving buyers a really good uh, post-sale experience. So looking at what, cre what you know, um, creates a great listing, uh, we can divide that into four major components. So title is really important, a good description, photos of course, and item specific. Now item specifics are nothing but the product attributes and product details. We'll go into a bit more detail of each of these four components. So in the next slide, um, we can now look at um, how to create a really good title. So eBay gives you up to 80 characters, um, and it's important to use this to create a brief statement about what you're selling. It's important to include keywords that buyers are looking for. Um, it's, you know, it's important to ensure you're adding brand, um, model number, uh, and other important keywords. A good example is a Sony uh, wireless Bluetooth headphones with the model number. And that actually is a brief statement, however, covers all of the different keywords buyers might be looking for on eBay. What we recommend that you do not include are anything that's not of value to the buyer. So exclamation mark, all caps, acronyms, um, or email and phone numbers. It's, uh, you know, it's best to use the 80 characters um, to input keywords that will be searched on eBay because eBay search uh, refers to the product title to help showcase your products. Next, we look at how to create a good description. Uh, a compelling description is the one that tells your buyers everything they need to know about your product. Now, one of the benefits of using the eBay Shopify uh, sales channel 
is all of the information that you've set up for your web store will automatically sync through to eBay, which means you don't have to write descriptions twice. Um, eBay can use the descriptions that have already been set up in your Shopify store um, and show the same information to our buyers. It's important to include key selling points, um, what's included or excluded from the pack and details like that, which, which I'm assuming you already have on your website. If you don't, you are able to customize and add that information within the sales channel app. What we recommend that you don't include is any information um, related to postage or returns. There are designated spots in eBay to house that kind of information. Um, your product description should primarily be about the product. Um, we also recommend not adding or checking for any of eBay links. Um, examples of this are contact numbers, addresses, or e website links that are non-eBay. Um, when eBay look, looks at any of this off eBay information, it literally, it basically hides your description. So all of that critical information um, we need to make available for your buyers just gets hidden. So please do, if you have an eBay store, make sure that your descriptions are all visible fine. When you're adding new descriptions, make sure that none of the off eBay links are coming through. So next we look at photos. So as we all know, um, pictures speak louder than words, right? And it's really important to make sure uh, your pictures put the focus on the product. So the first tip here is to use a plain background. Um, it's good to use a white background, but if you are selling, let's say jewelry, um, you can definitely use a black background or a darker background. As long as it's a plain background, it puts the focus on your product. One other cool feature that eBay has is auto zoom. So when we uh, detect that the image size is more than 1,000 pixels, um, we will automatically enable Zoom. So please do make sure that you're sending the highest file size to eBay um, and that you know, if your items have automatic Zoom enabled. Now, if you're selling any used products, refurbished um, products, it's, it's uh, you know, in the phones category or parts category, it's important to ensure you're adding actual pictures of the item instead of the original image uh, from, of the product. This is to help show buyers any, any marks, blemishes, and they know exactly what they're buying. Um, we do recommend um, not adding any graffiti or not adding any overlay text. And this again, takes the focus back from the product. As you can see in that example, there are designated spots in eBay to house that sort of information. Uh, images, obviously, we don't read the information and, and you know, we can't really uh, provide a great buyer experience when shipping information is in, hidden within images. And also it, it's counterproductive for, for conversion. So please make sure that we're not adding any overlay text or graffiti. Now eBay provides, uh, gives you up to 12 free photos per product. And that is at a variation level. So if, we, if you're selling a t-shirt that comes in three colors, you get up to 12 free photos per color. So please do make sure that you're adding multiple angles and close-ups to make um, the most out of these uh, 12 photo capacity. Um, and next we'll talk a little bit about item specific. So in this example, as you can see, item specifics are product details and attributes. Now, a lot of the times this information could be housed within description it's really important to pull relevant information out and add it to item specifics. It's, this is because uh, eBay search heavily depends on the item specific information that you're providing us. So if someone's looking for, um, again, in that example of, of a wireless headphone, um, it's, we, we look at your item specifics and showcase results where that information is available on the item specifics or the product title. Now, because product title has 80 characters and it's important to keep it brief, the next best slot to use is item specific. It, this also really helps with search ranking and helping showcase your product to the right buyers. Now, eBay, um, we've, we, we know that a lot of our buyers use long tail keywords to search. So they use, um, use our search function and making sure you've got the right item specifics means your product's coming up more often in front of these potential customers. Another really important um, reason to have good item specifics is filtered search. So 
going back to that example of a t-shirt, um, let's say you've got three colors, red, black, and blue. Now, as a buyer, when I go onto eBay and I'm looking for a cotton t-shirt, and from the left-hand navigation, I select the filter red color. Now, if that information isn't present on, a, present on your product, your product might not appear in that filtered search result. So again, it's really important to add as much product information as possible um, into item specific. Now, when you log into the uh, eBay Shopify app, you can see the required item specifics for a category, also the recommended item specifics for a category. So it's important that um, you take a little, like, little, a little time to map your attributes to eBay item specific names. So a good example is material. So uh, you might call that fabric or fabric percentage on your website or your, uh, in your metadata or tags. It's important to tag that uh, or map that to the eBay attribute, which is material because that's what eBay search looks at. So please do make sure that you are, um, you know, you're setting that up correctly. And there's a lot of information available about how to get item specifics right on our seller center. And one last uh, but most important benefit of item specifics is um, eBay now does a lot of marketing on behalf of our sellers. And, and one of those forms are uh, shopping ads, Google shopping ads. Now, a lot of the times we need crucial information about the product to help showcase your, your items in offline um, searches, in, like eBay, uh, like Google, Google searches. So please do make sure you're making uh, the most out of uh, eBay's support to market your product better by adding good information on your products. So next we can look at um, how to provide a great buyer experience now um, we've just we've now looked at how to create a great listing um, and and make sure that it helps with conversions. Um, now, once you started receiving sales on eBay, it's also really important to take care of the post sale experience. Now um, we have what we call retail standards. Um, after a lot of research and analysis, we know that our customers prefer these options and these have a direct impact to conversions. So the first recommended option is to offer free standard shipping, which is delivery within two to five business days. Um, we also highly recommend adding an express shipping option, which is delivering within one to three business days. Now, eBay postage rate tables make it really simple for you to offer these uh, services to some parts of Australia, if not all of Australia. So a good example is express shipping. You can offer express shipping just to metro zones or to zones closest to your warehouse, for example. So please do read about the eBay postage rate tables and how to best customize your uh, shipping options um, and optimize them and make sure you're providing the best value. Uh, we also recommend, uh, it's very popular to have same day dispatch or next day dispatch. So handling time is nothing but time taken to dispatch, and you can set all of this up within the eBay Shopify sales channel app. It's also really important to track your orders. Now, we all know as buyers um, in e-commerce world how much tracking is important, and it really creates trust around your eBay store. Um, it also helps protect your, yourself as, uh, as a seller. So please do make sure that your orders are tracked. And one of the benefits, again, of using the app is you could add tracking just on your Shopify web store and all that information syncs through to eBay. So um, you don't have to update tracking manually. Um, it, it, the app works with your web store. And a good point to note are just even with eBay orders, as you get eBay orders, all of these orders get sent directly into your Shopify platform. So it really mirrors how you currently manage your online orders. There's nothing new that you need to do to accept eBay orders. So it's really simple plug and play and start receiving uh, traffic and new orders. And lastly, it's really important to provide a good returns experience. Uh, we do recommend at least 30 day returns options. Uh, you can also offer 60 day returns. Now these are mainly change of mind returns and you can highlight the policy under which a return will be accepted and, and more details. Uh, but yeah, it's important to at least offer 30 day returns. 
Um, next, we'll take a look at how to really grow your eBay store. So we've looked at listings and a good buyer experience. Now we look at scaling your eBay store. So I'll talk a little bit about some of the tools that we have. So we have multiple options, but some of the popular tools are Promotions Manager that allows you to set up different forms of discount. So um, for example, buy $100, get X percent free, um, or other, 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 other formats. This also helps you create eBay exclusive prices um, without changing the price on your website. This also helps with, um, you know, if, you, if you're looking to clear or if, if you'd like to offer any exclusive uh, prices, like I said, it's a really good tool. Uh, please do explore and make sure that you're making the most out of promotion. Promoted listings. Now, this is one of my favorite um, scaling levers that sellers have, especially new sellers. Promoted listings um, is, is sponsored ads within eBay to oversimplify it. Uh, you, get, you get lots of premium placements within eBay. And what we do is uh, promote all of the new listings that you've added to eBay. You can really simply manage all of this within the eBay control panel. Um, you can set, set up, uh, choose the products that you'd like to promote. Um, we also show you uh, the, the bids that, that you should be setting up and there's a lot of insight. So um, what this really helps to do is to bump your products up in really important uh, placements, making your products visible to millions of uh, visitors every day. And this is really important because eBay, eBay has this concept of sales history, which you generate uh, based on your duration at eBay, your rating at eBay. Now, when you're a new seller um, and you haven't yet developed sales history, uh, it's, it's a really good tool to make sure your products are showing up um, uh, uh, you know, on top of search on, uh, when, our, when our buyers are searching for this. The last one and, the, and, and a very interesting uh, feature is called volume discounts. Now, very simply put, this is wholesale pricing. So a good example is when we walk into a cotton on store, we often see offers like buy one t-shirt for $10, but buy three t-shirts for $15. So this is a great way to, again, um, clear any stock that you have, as well as um, if you do work with bundles uh, products, then this is a really good feature. So you can set all of this up very easily within the eBay control panel. Um, and just very lastly, um, there's a lot of reporting and insights that are available to you within our Seller Hub. Um, please do make sure that you take a look at this. Um, so our mm -hmm. research tool analyzes millions of listings across our global marketplaces. And uh, we show information, really critical information on sales data, um, the average sold item pricing, recommended shipping costs, as well as the search terms the buyers are most using on eBay. Um, we also show item specifics that we recommend for your category. And like I said earlier, item specifics are the search terms that buyers are looking for and which is why we want you to add it to your products. So mm -hmm. that in a nutshell, uh, uh, that, that's, that in a nutshell is a way to be successful on eBay and grow your eBay store. Um, of course, uh, if you have questions during the integration setup or after you've launched your eBay store, you can continue to reach out to the eBay Shopify sales channel support team. Um, we work very closely with them and they escalate any technical issues that they can't help you with through to us. So we'll always make sure that you're getting uh, a response as soon as possible. Um, and so with that, I might hand it back to Andrew. Brilliant. Yeah, thank you for that. Wow. Uh, there's some incredible tips in there. And I feel like I want to go back onto this webinar and just slowly um, look at the replay and, and go through each of those tips. For me particularly, I mean, what to do with my keywords and my item descriptions to ensure I'm getting those search terms right. I think it's going to be a huge boost into to optimizing um, sales. Um, through the through the eBay channel, um, particularly what what Jeremy mentioned, what really resonated for me was the importance that you guys focus on entrepreneurship and helping those small businesses to sell um, and access the huge audience that you have um, in Australia is quite incredible. And I'd really implore each of the viewers today to to engage in the community, uh, like Jeremy mentioned, and access the different participants and give back to the community um, because. 
it will come back to, to help you in the end. Um, but on that note, uh, I'd like to wrap things up here. Um, if I can leave you with the thought, um, go out there and, and try um, to really activate your, your eBay channel or your retail sales channel. Um, there really is nothing to lose. Um, it's worth, I know it can sometimes be a little bit daunting, but making that first step is the most important. And go and test it. And um, this is a great time where more people are online and more people are looking to purchase. And it might be that one thing that really takes your business um, from being a small business to what, everything you've ever dreamed of. So good luck with that. I hope we've been able to help you um, with some of those ideas. And I'd like to thank Sanjana and, and Jeremy um, for their insights and um, echo, I suppose, the thoughts of Sanjana. If you do have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. And, um, and I look forward to seeing your businesses grow. But thank you. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you for listening. Thank you.